So in this video, we're going to talk about the importance of gut bacteria or gut flora and how to keep it healthy and improve it with probiotics and fermented food. Now your gut bacteria is so important to your overall health in so many ways, physically, mentally, psychologically, and spiritually. So in my practice of mind, body, and spirit, it's one of my favorite aspects of health to offer to people because it can help them in so many different areas. To begin with, we have 10 times the amount of bacteria in our body as we do cells. So it's so important to keep that healthy. Physically, it's directly responsible for how your immunity operates. So that includes any type of sickness or disease your body can naturally fight off and so many other aspects of physical health as well. To begin with, we have obesity, arthritis, cholesterol, indigestion, fatigue, plaque in your teeth, diabetes, irritable bowel disease, and so many other aspects of physical health. Mentally, it's been directly associated with anxiety and depression, but also psychological aspects, especially in children of ADD, ADHD, it's been shown to help with schizophrenia and even autism in children. And this is led by Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride with her GAPS diet. That stands for Gut and Psychology Syndrome. Now they're literally calling your gut bacteria your second brain. And one of the reasons they say that is because it produces more serotonin than your brain does. And that's very responsible for your mood swings. Also, they're calling it the new all natural Prozac because of the beneficial effects it has. It's also very helpful in removing toxins from your body and your body's detoxification system. So it will also help to get out heavy metals. It helps very much against parasites and fungus and anything that they cause, such as eczema. It also helps because of the parasites and fungus, your cravings with uh, sugar as well as alcohol and other addictions because it's killing the parasites that are responsible for making you have those cravings. So let's talk about some of the things that can kill your gut bacteria. To begin with, we have chlorinated water, and this comes in two parts. It's drinking chlorinated water from your tap, as well as showering in it. Now, you can see my video on shower filters and drinking water filters, but they say it's actually 10 times worse to shower in tap water or chlorinated water than it is to drink it, because in a seven minute shower, you absorb enough chlorine through your skin and through breathing it in as drinking a gallon of water. The other thing you want to look into is antibiotics. Now, antibiotics come in many different parts as well. There's the antibiotics that you take and when you're sick or something like that, and that can be very dangerous because it kills all of the bacteria in your body, good bacteria or bad bacteria, and it doesn't give your body a chance to fight it with its own immunity. But, back, but antibiotics also come in other forms. You get them through conventional chicken as well as conventional beef and other meats that you eat. So if you are going to eat that type of meat, I highly recommend you eat either free range chicken or grass fed beef because it's known not to have hormones or antibiotics in it. Other places that you can get this type of antibiotics is in conventional fruits and vegetables because they are sprayed with pesticides, which is essentially an antibiotic. And when these pesticides are on and inside the fruits and vegetables, because you can't just wash them off, they go into your gut and kill your gut bacteria. Even worse is genetically modified foods, because they say they have a pesticide that actually stays in your gut and continuously kills uh, your gut bacteria. Other products that you want to look out for that kill your gut bacteria are antibacterial soap. There's never a reason to use antibacterial soap. It's bad for you because it has a chemical in it called triclosan. And what the triclosan does is it gets into your pores, directly into your bloodstream, then goes to your gut and kills the bacteria there. Other thing to look out for are birth control pills. So you might want to look into alternative methods of birth control as well as carbonated beverages and living a high stress lifestyle. So any ways that you can lower your stress by meditation or having a hobby or something like that can be very beneficial for your gut bacteria and therefore your immunity and everything else. If you like this, check out part two where we talk about solutions and adding probiotics or fermented foods to help your digestion and improve your overall health.
More videos like this can be seen at theartofunity.com.